Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dreams. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Stephen is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have to say it, Sam. Now, Mr. Clay enters the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. Put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, the same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra. And I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there, dose the guards with his military-grade LSD, and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> Fuck you. You see everybody else got here on time. Them crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's they job. Had me out there. Fucking ask me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth.
get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them Drink up, motherfucker. So do they have a suspect? Now the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but... You don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. First, I'd like to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall. What are you even doing here? I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back to Europe. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. To Remy. Right. She says I don't talk to her enough. Like I can get a word in it twice. Couldn't agree more. Hmm. Okay. <gasps> Please keep your voice down. What? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Whatever you say. Yeah, they're getting divorced, all right. It ain't gonna be pretty, either. I see what you mean. I've never actually seen the nephew, right. either. Hey, I had some money. Bring that bottle over here. Maybe. Spill it. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. You want to come over to watch the game on Saturday? When you're right, you're right. Do I look worried to you? I'll buy her flowers, maybe something shiny, and it'll all Personal. blow over. And if it doesn't tighten her around, well, well, I guess there are always more fish in the sea. I see what you mean. I mean, every last goddamn oh. dime is gone. Yeah, you, with the bottle. Jesus. What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. My condolences. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. It's all right. He's resting with Jesus now. Oh man, Dingo! 
Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. Think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. I've been to cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just. <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, <laughs> you, me, him. Do you see light trails? We're all connected. Whoa. <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> God damn God. Yes. These people are in mind. I see Remy. No. Wait. Something is wrong. Oh. Get me out of here Remy. now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one's allowed in or out without my say so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come down with some <laughs> kind of... Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. Big mistake, asshole. Shoot that bastard! Like Goodbye! Assholes, forget about me! Kill him! Permits of cover! Ah! Should've kept your head down! Oh, my God. 
down by the wall. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Things are getting serious. Oh. Oh. Hoping something happens. Trouble's coming. Uh, oof. You think that scares me? Oh, I'm stuck here. Yours, boys. Got you now, Jim. What are you doing, us? Grab the cover. Hey, Just fucking die already. Why are they going out like that? He's going us down. Some cover! Christ! 
cracked. My hand is ruined. <laughs> Gamo, I'm gonna get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Oh, okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead. Christ, my hand! And he's ruined! I barely even knew Remy! can help. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay, thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. business to discuss. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See, si, certo. I never wanted that much, Link. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. It brings down too much heat. Pardon? No, I do not drink. Did he tell you why I wanted to meet? He said the nigger is causing you problems. That you wish to discuss a deal between the two of us? I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all set. Now the rights to the land are all tied up. It's that goddamn mess. You won my money. I'm gonna need enough to pay for all the blood-sucking lawyers, and that's not cheap. I want to hear you say it. 
say what? That you want my money? Say those words, please. I want your money. This is good. I will bring you the money. And in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Would it be you? But that's not the only thing that you... Do you also wish for me to kill the nigga? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggas. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe, justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy. You got some pens and needles, lassie. Set. I'll put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. I heard from my boys before I came over here, and they locked down this turf without any trouble. Well, good whichever direction you go here, but we're even better if you make it official and let me call the shots there. So that's where you were? All right. Well, if you want to send it our way, we'll keep it running and making money. Whoever you call to lock down the auction is up to you, and I respect that. But now, you're talking long-term responsibility. You trusted me with the last piece of the city. No reason to not trust me with this one as well. I'm towing the line, Lincoln. That's gotta mean something. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. You are one brilliantly decisive motherfucker. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. Are we done here? I got a whore named Sandy and a bottle of Shane waiting. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out.